I made this whole, whole big old cup of matcha. I didn't even need to make this because I have more energy than I absolutely need right now, but it is a nice backup. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're feeling good. Hope your night is going well because it's 8.19 p.m. <laughs> I seriously do not mean to be drinking this much matcha, much matcha at, at this exact point in my day or in my night. But for this long song Saturday, we are going to dive into Mumps, the Rodgers Club, Hatfield and the North. So many people have been asking for this uh, track for me to listen to. How many people? If only I had a way of finding out. You give me one moment, more than a moment actually, because I have nothing. <laughs> I walked in this room, set it up, and then I just kind of went with it. Let me get let me get some names here. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I could find that here. And at the same time, I'll go ahead and pull up all the, the lyrics, the Wikipedia page, everything that we need to make this a successful reaction video. That's all you need. You don't need much. Camera, personality, some good friends, and some good music. So we got all that pulled up here. Now, as for who's recommended this, D. Chalmers, Marco Mazzola, Michael C Capewell. I almost said Capwell, but nope, it's Capewell. I see you here. Uh, Brumley Twitch, Lord Elpis. I believe that you may have mentioned this as well before. Eric Dupont, or as they say, Dupont. Ah, a little bit of that. And the uh, Tin Top, and the list actually just goes on from there. Nathaniel Clapton as well. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for the recommendation. Let's go ahead and uh, journey into this track. I, I thought I was going to say something. <laughs> Nothing else I was going to say. I'm going to take a little bit of a sip of this. Mm, mm. I didn't mix it quite enough. I don't know if you can see the, the graininess in there. It's a little bit grainy, but that's all right. I don't mind a little grain in my, my matcha. Anyways, here's the track. Let's talk about it after. You could sit in this forever. This is just a warm hole to wait in. catch the roof.
It's a first listen, I can't catch it. <laughs> this wonderful feel in the production. Relationship is just so tight and graceful and fun, but serious. That Sinclair's bass work.
so cool to see them live. This would be amazing.
groove. We're on the low down It's making its way to the streets. ending it's like a secret song on uh, on a vinyl Good.
Well, and there you have it. Not only the end of the album, but one of the best tracks that personally I've heard in a, quite a little bit. Not like that long, but... Oh, man. Come on down. Come down from the clouds. Come down from the heavens. Reach down towards the earth. Come back to where you are sitting. Didn't that feel so good to listen to? Listen, let's talk about this, right? It's a 20-minute track. With 20-minute tracks, you can either have something just absolutely fantastic. It gives the band and the artist the time to really to really show their creative side, to really get into it and dig into the meat of their music without technically like a, a some some sort of time limit or something like this is for them to spread their wings sometimes those wings are a little bit of an icarus situation you know you put some wax and feathers together and you end up in the ocean sometimes right because sometimes it feels like padding with hatfield in the north listening to the music nothing there wasn't one moment one second that i felt like this is padding this is filler this is a diversion from the meat of the track itself this was incredibly delightful to listen to. I don't know about you and what your opinions are. I want to hear them, of course. But first of all, it's so melodic. It's so easy to listen to. It's extremely satisfying to listen to as well. Everything. Like, I can't even pick out like all the musicians necessarily. There's moments in there that I want to discuss. But I can't even pick out every single musician. The, the keys, the guitar... We're, we're just so melodic, so great to listen to. It just makes me feel good. The bass, I mentioned it during the track, but production-wise, it felt like bass and drums were center, and then you would have the keys and the guitar oftentimes on different sides, and then you have the horns, the backup vocals, etc., etc., kind of sparsely interjected around that. But the bass work, Sinclair, it provided such a wonderful, warm foundation. I think that the basic the bass work is underrated perhaps i don't know but just listening to his bass lines was immense <laughs> this was just a joy to listen to the jazziness of it all at one point we got down into this this funk stomp with some horns some saxophone blasting about you know walking down these sidewalks in the city like it just felt good it felt like a nice urban sprint and, and like the track covers so many different bases without ever losing its footing, without ever, like I said, going into those diversions. And let's be honest, sometimes with prog music, and progressive rock especially, you have those moments that it comes out of left field and you're like, where are you going? <laughs> what are you doing? Not here. No fat, no excess. Everything was done, in my opinion, just right. This is that third bowl of porridge. Uh, the singing didn't even come in until, what, <laughs> 10 minutes in or so? Somewhere in there. Um, and then when he did come in singing wise, I love his lyrics as he's going through certain letters, discussing syllables and how how wonderful like it works its way into it. Because at first he begins, I have minded my P's and Q's. Makes sense. Try not to damage any W's. I don't know what that means exactly. And if I tread upon a B, I'll pick it up and tell it earnestly, I'm sorry. I think he's just throwing in words there. No, or letters there. They could mean something. I don't know. But how how interestingly as he kind of brings that concept back near the end as he said as for the task of keeping o's and k's apart you'd be right to suppose that it is quite an art interesting that he chose those letters keeping o's and k's apart so he can't say okay does that mean acceptance he can't accept something does he not feel okay so the o and k never come together in a sense it's kind of interesting right then he says at the end Balancing syllables upon my knees, I've flown through the air with the greatest of ease. I did what you told me to, now I only have eyes for you. And he even puts a little bit of a, a little bit of a jazz standard singing voice on for that particular part. Like kind of like hinting us towards like a, a Sinatra kind of thing. Not literally, it's not like he was singing that. Like, but you know what I mean? Like he got it got towards that that kind of that kind of sound. Which I, thought, I just thought that was so cool. And then that's it. <laughs> Then we go right back into all the instrumental goodness. I especially love the beginning, um, and actually throughout in multiple parts. You had some uh, female vocals that were harmonizing the back, which just sounded absolutely amazing the way that they did that. And that is going to be Barbara Gaskin, Amanda Parsons, and Anne Rosenthal, who are handling the backup vocals in that. And I just really like the way that they playfully wrote along with all the music. And as that was established in the beginning, then they went away. But you'd have them return, I want to say, two moments throughout the track. 
somewhere in the middle, but definitely near the end, as if, as if to reprise that previous part and kind of bring that all back, which that's what a good reprise reprise will do. Like it'll bring it all back and be like, oh, we're connecting everything. Like this isn't an A to B journey. It's an A, B, C circular kind of journey. You know, like it, it wraps everything in a really, really nice package. Whew. And then the saxophone, the horns, buzzy guitar, playful organs, the depth in the beginning. Like I said, the bass work. I mean, I'm, I was really, really impressed by the bass work on this one. Uh, this was just, I can't think of any other praise than like a joy to listen to. This just, it goes down very smooth, you know? <laughs> like, like this isn't going down smooth. Like I like it. But there's that grassy texture in there, which I do like, but for recording purposes, it gets kind of stuck in my throat and I <clears throat> gotta clear my throat and stuff. Uh, anyways, <laughs> the track is broken up into several, and by several, I mean four different parts. Your majesty is like a cream donut, quiet. Lumps, pre-nut. Your majesty is like a cream donut, loud, which of course was the first part, just kind of brought back bigger and louder, as it says. Um, <laughs> I don't exactly know what, what the mumps, like I, I know the mumps, but like why this track is named mumps, I, I don't know if that's a thing that I should know in accordance with his alphabet and and that, I, I, don't, I don't really know. I mean, does it really matter? Not, not necessarily, but I, I I like to know sometimes, you know, like what's going on behind the track. But the song was fantastic. Anyways, this album was fantastic. Let me know what you guys thought of the album once again. And as always, I appreciate you coming in. I appreciate you watching the videos, especially if you've made it to this point. You may have you may have stopped listening three minutes into the track. You said this ain't for me. And you just you're not even here right now. That's okay. You're not here right now. And even though you may not be thinking of me, I'm thinking of you. And if you are still here. I see you. So I don't need to think of you because you're right in front of me. I see you right there. So thank you so much for being here. Of course, let me know your thoughts on the album, on the track. This was wonderful. This was a pleasure, a joy. Happy to listen to this. Uh, let me know all those thoughts in the comments. If you wish, you can also support the channel and what I do on Patreon for as little as $2 a month. You don't have to, but it definitely helps out in what I do. You can also follow me on Twitter for random postings, random musings, random things I just post every once in a while. And besides that, I hope that you enjoy the rest of your night, the rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you all later. Bye.